Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here at Eternia, and y'all know what it is. Today, we're going to start off as a maintenance episode. It's a new town, new equipment, a whole lot of stuff that we want to buy and prepare. So, let's go ahead and start. First, we've got the end. Let's make sure we get ourselves healed up. You know, start off on the right foot, get everyone's HP and MP back up to where they should be. And then we can get on to do some shopping here. So next we've got the consumable shop. I don't think I'll need anything from here. Maybe I should buy some X potions, but first I want to see the equipment. So, <clears throat> actually first is the magic. I know these guys have new magic. These, this is like the land of like healing and stuff, so. And they do. They do not disappoint. They've got... Wow, Kirada, that is going to become useful, Eraga, and the level 3 light, you absolutely love to see it, buying every single one, the only ones, <sighs> I'm going to buy them, I don't use them, but I need to buy every spell, I need to have it, so, I'm going to spend my money on that, what do you say, uh, you'll find, okay, it's not a place, but, okay, let's see what new equipment they have, flame tongue, the cross spear is really the only thing I'm looking for. And it l doesn't look like it's really any better for Tiz, surprisingly. So we don't even need it. Okay, wizard's rod. Okay, this might be good. Let's buy... Two of those. Staff of life. Huh. Staff of healing that casts cure. Uh, maybe we'll save that for later. It, this is better than the Ku... Wait. This is better than the Kunai. Okay, so we could maybe buy two of those. Let's see for everything else, though. The Adamant Shield? This might be useful for Ring-A-Bell. Let me buy that for Ring-A-Bell. Adamant Helm? Let's see. No, that's not really good for anyone there. Adamant armor? Ooh, this stuff is kind of good, though. Um, okay, none of that would be good. So the only thing we could buy is... Ooh. You know what we should do? Let's also sell some things here. There's things I can sell. Um, yeah, we can sell some things here. I want a lot of things here. Yeah, some can sell. Let's sell everything. We can sell things we don't use. We can sell that, sell that. The what is it? The wizard's rod? Let's put the other wizard's rod on here too. Perfect. Did I buy anything here? Oh, I bought a new shield. Uh, I didn't, I didn't buy him a new... Oh, he should have a diamond staff on. Oh, but no. That, I don't want I don't want that to go down so bad. Okay, so now we can go back to selling stuff. Ooh, what's this stuff for? Oh, there's anything like this. 50. I can't do myself much. I can't do myself much. I can't do myself much. Sell these. Um, ooh, I can't do myself much. Sell that, sell that, sell this. Don't even farm it all. The Viking coat. Yeah, I can sell two of those, currently. Hmm. Sell that, sell that, sell robe. See, honest, sell that. Raise your chance, you'll keep that. Sell that, the wrong thing will keep. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I keep trying to see if it's going to something. Just in case, it's nothing at least. Okay, I think Dread. We don't need this. Uh, I think just in case, though. Can I sell both these? Oh, yeah, it seems like I'm using more. Sell that. Sell that. Okay, I think we can go back to things that we need now. So we go here. We don't need any- the stuff we're looking for is here. So the Adamantite Armor for Tiz. And then... For Agnes and Ringabel. Agnes and Ringabel. And then the Gaia Gear for Adia. Let's equip that right now before I forget. Agnes, I need to equip... The vest. The Dia, the Gaia Gear. And I'm gonna put the Adamantite Armor on the Adamantite. And then the... Never forget the... Yes, the vest. Okay, there we go. Remember those. So I have to buy... I'm gonna hold this. Does this help anyone? Causes death. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy those. They're really expensive. But I think they might be useful. So... I'm gonna go ahead and put... Assassin Dagger... Assassin Dagger. And I think that'll help. Okay, so we don't really have anything left now. We have not a lot of money, but I think this armor will help quite a bit in the long run. I think that's everyone, right? The only thing we could buy is maybe... 
We could probably buy Ring of Bell a Rod, right? And really, I think I could buy him a better hat. Well, I want to buy the Staff of Life, so let me sell some things. I think that's enough to go ahead and buy the Staff of Life. And we're going to go ahead and equip that on Ring of Bell too. Staff of Life here. Yeah, the magical attack will go down a little bit, but I think that would help. Okay, there we go. So, we're fully healed. We've got the magic, we've got the equipment. I think we can save, and I think... Oh, the one thing I have to do here, a little bit more maintenance. So the jobs are good, the abilities... I think the abilities are all still the same. I switched Anya's ability from the Thief to Martial Arts because I forgot she leveled it up. So might as well. Um, she's been... Honestly, I don't think I'll ever use the summoning. Maybe I'll just switch this to compounding because I'll never use the summon. I'll keep that there and I'll keep that there. Equipment's good. Here's, here's the thing that I haven't looked at. The Agnes has the ninja. I think I have the 50% power now, so I'll switch to that. Um, Okay. But I think we're fully done now. So that took about 10 minutes to do. But I think that was worth. We should be pretty well equipped. The only thing more I could do to w better equip myself is do some job training for the secondary jobs. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's just continue now after we did all of that. This is the hospital. Have been shut off. I only hope this doesn't affect the patients. So they did do what that guy said last episode. They cut off the valves. Some kind soul used to send money to pay for the child's treatment. Month after month they came and always went on for years. However, she must have been very dear to them. If I didn't get the... Okay. Can't go there. Okay. Let's go to where we're supposed to. She's right this way. Why, Adia, when did you return? Never mind that. Are you all right? <sighs> of course I am. You mustn't trust everything you hear. And I've been feeling quite a bit better since I came here. Yes, but... Well, aren't you going to introduce me? Oh, um... About that. You see... I, uh... I am Adia's mother, Mazer Lee. Thank you for looking after my daughter. So, you are the Wind Vestal? <gasps> mother, how could you possibly know that? I am the Grand Marshal's wife, after all. I hear much to which others are not privy. And I am particularly well informed about the Wind Vestal's traveling companions. Sir Alternus provides me with the latest news. Ugh, Alternus. I wish he'd mind his own business. But he knows. Oh no, we'd better get out of here. Oh, relax. I won't report you. After all, it's not that often that I get to see my darling daughter. Mother. My, you look almost grown up now, Adia. And to think you were such a spoiled little thing when you left. Mother, you're embarrassing me. Don't listen to her, milady. We'd love an in-depth look into Idea's childhood. <laughs> what a wonderful friend you've made. To be in your daughter's company, the pleasure has been all mine. You stay out of this, ring -a bell How wonderful to see you so full of vim and vigor. I'm... 
I'm sorry if I worried you, Mother. If that is truly so, then there is one thing you could tell me. Why did you defy your father so? You must have a good reason, I'm sure. The world. It is being consumed in darkness. Many have already suffered greatly as the shadow envelops the world. Tis here counts among them. And the suffering and sorrow will only multiply if we fail to stop it. Agnes has been risking life and limb in her quest to rid the world of this darkness. Yet my former comrades in the Knights of the Eternian Sky sought to capture and even kill her. And it's not only the Sky Knights. The military forces, agencies, and consuls Eternia has dispatched throughout the lands, they all... They've done nothing but cause pain and suffering, and taken many upon many lives. I used to believe anti-crystallism was the true way, but... I know now that is not so. After traveling the world, there is so much I've seen for the first time. I've taken in all I've seen and all I've learned. And there, deep in my heart, I've come to know what is black and what is white. That is why I am here now with my dear comrades and friends. So you have come to do battle with your own father and the Eternian forces? No, you don't understand. We haven't come seeking battle. We've come to awaken the Earth Crystal. Awaken it? Yes. But then I received word that you were ill and receiving treatment. Now I don't know if I should. There's no need for that. No need? Mother, what do you mean? There's no need to worry about me. It's time for your examination. Forgive me, but this is where we must say goodbye. Please, do look after my daughter. Mother! Idea, the white magic cables extend to that medical tower as well. I wonder to where they all lead. To the Earth Crystal. What's this? Eternia has advanced its medical arts by extracting the crystal's energy. My mother once suffered from a debilitating disease. That she could speak with such vigor today is due to the Earth Crystal. But how could such a thing be possible? Even vessels are incapable of extracting power directly from the crystals. It seems Eternian scholars long studied how to extract such power, and finally succeeded. But I know no more than that. Wait. What would become of this central medical tower if we were to awaken the Earth Crystal? What of your mother, Adia? And the many others receiving treatment there? If the power provided by that cable were to suddenly cease, the people that depend on it to survive, they might all... As a Vestal, I can only say that this white magic cable is a desecration upon the Earth Crystal. And yet... There are people whose lives depend on it? But, but, only the Eternians benefit! I mean, not awakening the Earth Crystal is like... It's like abandoning the rest of the world to suffer darkness! It's not an easy choice, but we have to try! We can't let the whole world be covered in darkness! She's right. The peace and tranquility that Eternia enjoys is built upon the tears of others the world over. And I shall not stand for it. That's why I'm here with you. And that's why you must awaken the Earth Crystal, Agnes. Agnes! All right, then. I'm glad you understand. Now, to reach Everlast Tower, we must make our way through Returnian Central Command. There are three passages leading there from here in the city. We must pass through one of them. But be warned. My father has no doubt deployed an ironclad defense. Okay. 
Party Chat, Three Passages to Central Command. Let me brief you on the three passages. Alright, we're listening, go on. Three paths connect Central Command to Eternia proper, each of them different. The Central is the shortest, but the enemies will find are all nightmares. The Western Passage is longer, and the enemy is tough, but not as tough as the Central Path. None of the guards along the East Path are very strong, but the distance is extremely long. There are no easy options here, but the choice is ours. What do we do? I think we go through Central. I like Central the best. Okay, let's go ahead and save one more time. Okay, let's keep moving on now. We're all stocked up on everything, so we should be good on that end. Okay, so... Where are the th Oh, I see. So if we look on the map, you know what I'm going to do? Just so you guys can see it. Also, I should fix my little camera here. Just so you guys can see it. Here's the three passages right here. So you got... Oh, you guys can't see it. Well, look at where I am. You can see three passages on the road there. Back into the game. I think... Also, let me make sure my encounters are on. Okay, they are on. Let's take the middle route. The shortest... Ooh, but we have a big enemy. Alright, well, let's fight it. I want to take the shortest route. Okay. Wow, it actually managed to punch everyone to death. Wow. That's surprising. I definitely don't think that was fair. Let's try that again. I don't think that was fair. I... Okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and, um... Just do a normal attack. We'll do a special piercing bolt. We're going to do the horizon. And then, let's go ahead and hit it with... Hmm... Oh, no, let's keep doing that. I guess we can do the same thing we did the first time. Let's go to compounding. Um, let's do the power of lightning with the insect antenna here and that way it'll be weak to lightning okay lightning bane and then we'll have to heal with the ring of bell next turn but at least now everyone's kind of got their buffs going okay so it's weak to lightning that was a good crit right there i'm glad that critted piercing bolt sadly i think the piercing bolts actually fire so it won't crit or it won't be weak, but we'll just spam some lightning in a minute, so... Let's go ahead and just attack. Since our crit is up, we want to do as many crits as possible. It's weak to lightning, so we want to do the advanced Thundaga. With Tiz, we're gonna... Let's just do some normal attacks to try to get crits on it. And then with ring -a bell let's do the new Kirada. Hopefully we can get that Kirada off. Come on, do a crit. There we go. I was like, I... Do some crits for me, please. Okay. Yeah, so the jump does a bit more damage, but I think overall this might out out damage it too. Maybe not, and if it doesn't, that's alright. Let's get a Kirata going, make sure we're all out of harm's way. This will do 5k each, so this is going to be extremely strong here. Now, we're going to have to wait for everyone to come back up, which sucks a little bit. But we're just going to go ahead and keep Kiradaing here. Make sure no one dies gonna keep doing it okay like I said I don't care how much mana it is I just need everyone to not die on me yep keep it going okay let's go ahead and let's default 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 I'm gonna keep karateing just yeah because these assistant attacks suck I want to make sure I don't die to them especially if he rocket punches and we should be able to end the fight before anything crazy happens. Evasion up. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, hit him with some good stuff. Um, it's His evasion's up, so let's hope we don't miss too many attacks. But either way, the Thandagas are going to hurt, so... And with Tiz, we'll go ahead and just do a normal jump here. Then another Kirata as usual. 
He doesn't seem to be missing much, actually, so... We don't, we're not missing much, so clearly it didn't have that big of a side effect here. Okay. That's a good thing that happened before the Kirata. Thundaga's always gonna hurt. It might still be weak to it. Or maybe it's just naturally weak to Thunder anyway. So I just, like, wasted that insect, uh, antenna. Um, let's go ahead and attack it like normal. Just do normal Thundaga and another Kirata here. Just kind of repeat of that one, but instead we won't be using all of them, all of the attacks. Everyone healed back up. Oh, we're out of mana. Well then, let's just use a special and hopefully that'll that's enough. Let's do the special along with... Oh. Wait a minute, go back. Yeah, I want to do two things. Horizon, and then I want to do a jump. And then, um, just white magic, another Kirata here. And hopefully we kill this thing soon, because um, I don't have, like, a crazy amount of MP left on Ring of Bell, and I actually don't even have any on idea almost, so... Hopefully it dies soon here. I mean, this, they said the central path was the hardest, so... You know. I get what I get here. Please don't... I need to heal very quickly. Because he's gonna rocket punch and kill me. I really hoped he'd die right there, because now we're actually in the danger zone. This is how I died last time. This is exactly how I died last time. You know what I'm gonna do, just to keep us from dying? Um... I just need I need ring a ring a bell to cure as quick as humanly possible. Oh, rejuvenation. Heal all, healing up for allies. Okay, I need him to do it quick. Well, he lived, but everyone is dead currently. So ring a bell that was a tiny bit useless now, wasn't it? Everyone's kind of dead around you. You should have done that right before they got assisted. Okay, well this is gonna suck, but this is just what we'll have to do. A Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. And then a Kirada. And uh, hopefully we can outlive this. It's about the only option we got at the moment. So, let's hope we can survive this. And hopefully another, and not another assisting barrage comes along. Okay. I guess let's just go for it here. Let's do some punches. Let's go ahead and uh, do... Okay, I guess we'll stick with the level 2s. And then we'll have to do some level 1s. Oh, we're running a little low here. Okay, we'll just do two Braves and let's do some Cures. Because Ring of Bell is... N Actually, let's do three. Because I don't think these cures do much. And I need to stay out of death's way here. Okay, she's doing... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, she crazy. We did it. Oh, thank you. 300 JP and 3000 XP. And an X potion. You, you love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Okay. Well, we can continue, but you know what I'm going to do? I... I kind of want to fight every single creature on every single path. So I might just go save. And go back and fight the rest. Can I fight it from the back? Okay, I can fight it from the back. Is that a zombie dragon? Okay, well, I don't know how, how hard this thing hits, but... Oh, it is a zombie dragon. Let's just go for it, I guess. We'll use the Thundagas. Let's see what it's weak against. Maybe a Furaga? I don't know which one it's weak against. Let's just do both. And then, we know, we'll just do a jump here. And then, uh, we'll just default with Ring of Bell and see what it has for us. And I think we'll be fine just like this. Okay, good amount of damage, bite. Okay, that hurt, but not guard. What, we can't do magic on it? Okay, so fire can hit it good, though. Okay, so noted. Hit it with fire. Let's go ahead and spam Kiratus here. Make sure we're all healed up. 
Okay. Do another jump. Another Kirada. Okay. Get everyone healed up. Okay, same thing. Another Kirada. Okay, didn't heal anyone there, but hey, whatever. Um... Okay, oh, we got everyone up and running. You know what? Let's do some defaults here. Maybe we can do one big barrage later. Let's do some defaults here. Bite. Okay, that's not that hard. It doesn't bite as hard as you'd think it would. Ooh, poisoned. I don't like being poisoned. Um, let's just do another Kirada. I'm just gonna... I know this is probably bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and just... Uh, just ignore the poison. It's gonna do a little bit of damage, but if we kill it quickly, it's not gonna matter, right? So... Let's go ahead and do that with the Dia. Let's do some Firagas. There we go. With Tiz. Let's just do some normal attacks, I guess. And then... You know what, with ring -a bell we'll just do... Rejuvenation. Call it a day. And that should be enough here. And if it doesn't die, we've got a bunch more turns to do, so won't be that big of an issue. Maybe I should just jump with Tiz, because his normal attacks are kind of kind of trash. Poison Breath, that's okay. Because the Rejuven... Oh, it's dead. Never mind. Oh. 25,000, okay. Well, at least we kind of know how much we need to do. But the Rejuvenation should hopefully also clean the poison, so how good is that, right? The things I do for you. Indeed, ring a bell, indeed. And it cleans the poison. You'll love to see it. And it gives us, I think, a BP too. Okay. Let's just do the exact same thing. Why not? It's only 25k, so this should be pretty easy to kill. Idea does 5,000 per hit anyway, right? Hopefully Idea will go before ring a bell, though. At least I hope. Okay, bite, that's fine. Okay. Firaga, there we go. Get that thing out of my face. Okay, 6,000. Cool, elixir and a dark matter. Now, question. Let's go ahead and let me heal. I wonder if there's anything on the longer path. Let's just do some normal cures here. Is there anything on this longer path? If there is, I want to fight it, so... Let's do the walk. All the way around. Okay, there's this side trail here. What is this? What What's at the end of this? Oh. Should we enter here? Cravemark Village. Maybe we shouldn't have entered here yet. What is this place, Idea? A very good question. I never knew there was such a village on the Eastern Passages Byway. Maja, is that you? Huh? Hmm, I am mistaken. You are much too young, though there is a resemblance. Might I have your name, young one? Edea. Hmm, of course. That explains the resemblance. This is the birthplace of the Lord Marshal and his wife, the Lady Marzer. What's this? I'd never heard of such a place before. Why are there so many graves? Hmm, so you know not of the Great Plague? Well, perhaps it is best that way. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Uh, there's a save spot here. Let's go ahead and save and end the episode, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. As for what's on channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.